Can Battlefield 2042 recover? I probably get asked this question more than any other on my live streams. And it's always such a very complicated and long explanation. And we just recently actually had like a podcast sort of thing with other creators and other Battlefield uh, personalities and community members recently where we discussed this on our live stream. So if you are not actually over on our live stream, but you haven't followed us over on Twitch, please consider doing so. We have an amazing community. We have a lot of fun and we get out there and get some games done. So if you ever want to run some with us, that's going to be down in the description below. So first and foremost, do I think Battlefield 2042 can recover? I think it can, but it's got to do a couple things first and they're not going to be easy feats. So the real issue here isn't the developers. I don't think it's capabilities here that are in question. We've seen them rebound and improve games before in the past. We're coming off of a very bad launch from a previous title, and this is the second Rocky one in a row, arguably worse than the last one. And that is not a good sign for them. Faith is being lost, trust is being lost, and I think a lot of this comes down to direction. So I don't think these are the developers at fault here, right? I don't. I think there's a handful of people in power that control these decisions that really have lost sight or don't have the vision that Battlefield needs right now. And I, and I do believe this can recover, but based on recent history, that is the trick. Can we trust the people in charge to make the decisions best in the interest of the community? And that's the real question we should be asking ourselves because I think the devs are capable of making a badass game, but they need to be let to, they need to be guided to. And that's going to come down from the higher ups. Now, one thing that I want to go ahead and mention before we get into it is I think the devs have done a phenomenal job at keeping this game updated. I think we have had weekly updates outside of the holiday break. Uh, the every Thursday launch, we have had sizable patches and updates and balance tweaks and everything, and they've been really killing it, trying to polish this game and get the performance up there. And there is definitely some more way to go, which is kind of a standard in the industry, so I don't really fault them for that. I think they've done a phenomenal job at that. Uh, but a lot of the other issues, like the legacy features, lack of maps, game types, infantry, things like this, are really falling hard on the community. Now, what will it take to get people back into the game? This isn't going to be a trickle effect, right? You're not going to be able to develop a map every three months, put it in a season and go, hey guys, we got a new map. I feel like a lot of the damage has already been done. And even though you will attract a couple of people coming back that, oh, there's a new gun or, oh, there's a new map, they'll come back, they'll try it. And yeah, some of them may stay, but it's not going to be a sizable amount. They have lost a majority of the community, a very large portion of their community. And you're not going to be able to just put out the occasional map or gun and lure them back in. Not after they have been hurt in the way that they have been hurt. So what I believe it will take to turn this game back around will be an entire hard second launch. We're talking five maps, five guns. I think expansion. Think something sizable. It's going to have to get something to get people talking because... That is how this recovers. The people that have been hurt, the people that are disappointed with the game right now, six months down the line, they got to go, hey man, I've been back on, there's a couple new maps, and I have been loving it. The hit reg is great, they got infantry maps back in, dominations and all-out warfare. They are going to need to vouch for the game. People that are currently invisibly frustrated with the game now are going to need to vouch for it in the future because that's what it's going to take to get other people to go, oh, well, I mean, he used to hate the game, but... Now he thinks it's great. Maybe I should go back and give it a try. So that's one way to get people back into the game. But that'll be a slow regain. That's going to be something that's going to slowly generate more people coming back to the game and giving it a chance. Uh, other tactics could be a free-to-play turnaround. They may not like this idea, but that could be something they can do and try to survive off of microtransactions. Uh, that is something that is possible, like Season Pass, so on and so forth. Wouldn't be the worst idea in the world, honestly. But I think the real big change is in about a year from now because it will take quite a bit of time to build that up because they do still have to put out content and fix the game over the next year plus probably move on to whatever the next title is going to be but at some point they're going to have to do another launch of this game we've seen it with no man's sky we've seen uh, similar things happen with like sea of thieves games that have launched bare bones games that have launched with not enough content or flaws and the only way they've been able to recover 
is from something extreme, something substantial, almost a second launch. And that is exactly what I think it will take for people to get back here because websites will be talking about it. People will be questioning it. They're going to be, oh my goodness, is this really it? Are they really launching all this? New game types, new ideas. It's going to need a pure revamp at its core, at its foundation, to lure people back in a substantial amount. And do I think it'll ever fully recover and peak? No, I don't think it will. But I think the foundation's not bad. I think they can invest in Hazard Zone, do some really nice things to attract new people in the future, but they gotta get the game solid first. They got to earn the faith back to the community. Now, yes, a second launch is great. Yes, some trickle out content to keep us kind of engaged is great. I have a couple ideas. Uh, I'll leave those down in the description below about how they can bring infantry maps in with ease probably within a couple of months to keep people happy uh, and some other ideas as well about how they can merge the classes like the engineer and everything like that with the specialists and allow those to coexist. I have tried offering solutions about how I think they can make this game better or even placeholder ideas to hold us over until they do add all of these new things. Uh, and I'll link those down in the description below if you like to watch those and want to support those because honestly, us talking again is how we recover. But I think it really starts in one place. It starts with accountability. I think before any of us can heal or start to regain trust, they need to come out and pin a letter to the community. They need to go, hey guys, uh, our vision for this game was wrong. We should have done this. We did this. So on and so forth. They need to say, this is what happens. What I would really like as a consumer right now is an explanation. I don't even need an apology. I just want to understand why they did what they did. I want to see legacy features brought back. I want to see server browsers. I want to see VoIP. And all of these tools may come in time. But what we really want to understand is why they did it in the first place. Why all of these things were stripped. Why we had less of everything compared to every other standard in Battlefield that they have set. Why do we have less? But right now we have radio silence. So I believe the healing hasn't even begun. I don't think we can even make a step in progress until they come out and say, hey, this is what happens. They give us an explanation and then they give us a roadmap. Then we have an understanding about what they're going to do and they kind of bring us back together because the issue here is there's a disconnect between the developers and EA and the community. None of us are communicating in a way that we need to that is healthy. There's a lot of frustrations and venting on both sides that we've seen on Twitter and, of course, Reddit. So what we need is something to bring us together. And that letter would do exactly that. It's not going to fix anything. It's going to probably do nothing for a lot of people. But it's a start. It's a foundation to build with. And without that, I don't think recovery can even be possible, truthfully. Because that needs to happen. When you have wronged somebody and in this case that's a whole community so that's what i honestly truly feel about this game there are a few things that need to happen first that accountability talk about it allow us to heal and move forward that's number one number two pump out content give us a roadmap and let us know what's going on for the next six months to a year number three hard launch to bring all the old fans back something substantial something with meat on the bones Otherwise, yeah, you can make a beautiful game. You can turn it around and make it phenomenal. But a lot of the people won't come back unless you do a hard launch and get the media talking about it and people excited about it. And then when you do that hard launch, that second launch, you can't make the same mistakes you did on the first time because this is a big time for you to show what you're capable of. If it honestly is a disaster, that's not only going to affect the remainder of the years underneath 2042, but it's going to affect the next Battlefield title. How many people are going to honestly put faith in pre-ordering or buying a game, like whatever the next Battlefield is, after those two, those two recent ones, have honestly bombed that hard. So they have to run it back, they have to regain faith in the community, prove to us they can develop and turn these things around, and then when they get them there, don't allow them to collapse like they have with the original launch of this game. And that is my opinion. You guys are more than welcome to share yours down below. I truly encourage you guys to do so because discussion about things like this and solutions are how we move forward. There's a lot of negativity surrounding this game right now. A lot of tensions are high and I completely understand it because we love this game. We want to see what this thing can do. And uh, 
we all want the we all want the same thing the publishers the investors ea dice us we all want this game to succeed because we all benefit when it does so that is what i have to say feel free to share what you want to down in the comment section below but remember to subscribe hit that bell and i'll catch you with another 2042 video tomorrow